Hey guys, back with a, another quick tutorial on how to use Melodyne with Studio One. In this session, I'm going to be talking about how to use it on bass. In my situation, I've got a uh, bass that's not really that optimal. It's got intonation problems, and really a lot of basses tend to have some flat notes or sharp notes. With, Mel with uh, uh, Melodyne, you're able to basically bring everything right to pitch which can really help the sound of uh, your final production. So what I'm going to do here is um, I've got a bass line here. Uh, I'm going to uh, open up um, Melodyne. You can see it's analyzing the, uh, the bass data. takes a few seconds here to bring it in and there we have it so I'll just widen out my screen here just to make it a little easier to edit okay uh, another nice thing about Melodyne is um, it, it recognizes all like uh, what I call artifacts um, when you're recording so you can uh, basically get rid of those which is a, a nice feature so I'll just get everything lined up here in my window so I can see everything um, there you have it. There's my bass line. Uh, so talking about artifacts, here's an example. If you listen here to this particular uh, track. You hear that little... Okay, it's a decent bass, but you, bass, bass sound, but you can see that um, it's a little bit on the higher side of the scale, or, or the note, I should say. So I'm going to use... Uh, correct pitch to straighten that out and also you can see here this little um, instance right here if, I, if you listen to it it's actually a screen a string scratch so I could just actually get rid of that which is nice um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll select this first little riff here go to correct pitch and I'll just do hundred percent pitch correction you can see the notes slide as I do that, I'll just go back and forth here so you can see it. So I'll just leave that at 100%. It basically centers those notes right in the center of the uh, of the note. Now, probably not a, a lot of difference when you hear the whole mix, but my theory is every tonal perfection you can have in a mix is, is makes your mix just that much better. Um, so now I know my notes are right where they should be. And the other thing I can do is to fatten this up a little bit. I can select the tracks, or sorry, the blobs, if you will. Then I can use my um, amplitude tool, and I can actually fatten up these notes to get them so that they're wider on the, uh, to the, they basically touch the edges of the, of the note track, if you will. So I just click and hold, and I push up. You can see all these notes start to expand as I do that, okay? But I want to probably just get it right so that it's on the edge there. And just gives you a little bit more of a, a, a fat sound. Um, and, you know, if I, this, this, this particular bass line is, um, is about uh, three and a half minutes long. And um, I could probably go through this whole track in about maybe 20 minutes, if so, if 15, 20 minutes, so it doesn't take that long to do. In the end, I'll have a perfect bass line, uh, right in key with a little bit more fatter sound. And you really, sh you know, you can really experiment with, um, with the amplitude uh, to, uh, to see what, you know, what you like and what you don't like. <clears throat> so that's, you know, basically a quick tutorial on how to use Melodyne for fattening up your bass. Hope that was helpful. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.